not everyone thinks self-serve checkouts are a great way to shop, but nearly 10% of Aussies think they're a great way to shop Lyft, which for the record is illegal. Australia began as a colony of thieves. Some of our biggest heroes are thieves. And now 9% of shoppers are thieves. Self-serve checkout thieves, the very worst kind. <laughs> In a survey of 3,000 self-serve users, 9% admitted to deliberately not paying for an item. Among people in their 30s, it's closer to 17%. And that's not including folks who pass off expensive fruit and veggies as cheaper ones. Like paying for lemons but getting limes, paying for peanuts but getting pistachios, or paying for a banana but getting some kind of pimped out super banana. <laughs> the research was done by consumer organisation CanStar Blue, unless they nicked it from other researchers. People in their 30s, they're the people who go into the store, get to the checkouts and think, this is costing me a little bit more than I was expecting, I'm going to try and get something for free. The project Vox popped some real shoppers who all denied ever doing it. No. No. The temptation has been there, I must admit, but no, I haven't. But other people gave different answers when we agreed to blur their faces. Once in a while. Yeah, I think everyone does that. Yeah, I've uh, stolen some Tic Tacs. I stole a car once. <laughs> this is where I blur that, yeah. People think of supermarket theft as a victimless crime and it's far easier to justify stealing from robo-registers than, say, robbing a bank. I've actually also robbed a few banks. You really need to blow that one out, OK? I actually had no idea you could trick the system like that. Like, it beeps at me when I do the right thing. I don't know what would yeah, happen I if I do the wrong thing. The whole lot of police would arrive. Yeah, I didn't realise you could do it either. <laughs> I find it so hard to use that there's always a woman looking over my shoulder. <laughs> you need it, go away. I'm you trying know, to pinch the it. peanuts. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm paranoid because, I mean, you know, I guess I've got some profile that I'm going to end up... I'm going to end up on the front cover of a new idea because I've <laughs> knocked off some lady, bit, lady finger bananas, you know. Like, <laughs> Otherwise, the, you'd totally do it. Otherwise, I'd be up for it. Right. <laughs> but here's the thing. So, they've done this to replace workers, right? Yeah. Whose salary they're not paying. Yeah. Mm. So, how much would a worker at a Cash register not normally get paid per hour. Bloody clue, I'm not, not running the government. $20 or something? 20 okay. bucks an hour? 20 bucks an hour, how long does it take you to check? You've got the calculator through, out, yeah, amazing. To check through a thing, how long would it take you? Five minutes? Yep. Well, depending on yeah. what you're buying. So you're yeah. saving them $1.67. I reckon you should be able to nick a dollar sixty-seven wow. worth of staff. Did you just hear that, everybody? Well, leaders yeah. endorsing. That's, that's something we need to talk about. Um, <laughs> I, I, I reckon I'm in credit. I reckon I've left stuff. At the, I reckon I've, I'm probably owed stuff. Oh, because you've already left it. I've, I've, like, I've always left stuff. Right. Does, yeah. a grape, does a grape on the way as your shopping count? No. 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 We've, we've justified all manner of shoplifting <laughs> now. We can end the show. <laughs>